Hello, this is uh, Robin from TechCrunch. I'm here in Denmark, Aarhus. Uh, I'm here at the exhibition uh, of the next Aarhus conference. Um, and I'm here with, what's your name? I'm uh, Fleming from uh, Open Space Aarhus, which is the uh, local hacker space. We have uh, 277 square meters of, uh, you know, workspaces and electronics gear and, you know, everything from drill presses to table saws. So we can build robots and, you know, shelves for your living room if you want. Uh, but over here we have um, our uh, milling machine. It's a CNC mill, completely built from uh, from stuff you can find at the local uh, hardware store, which makes it very cheap and very uh, accessible. Right, uh, and right here we have a frost truder, which be, uh, which uh, we fitted because we we can't really bring a mill along to uh, to an exhibition an exhibition like this. So uh, we're just uh, laying down some uh, sugar frosting here on the paper. Right, uh, but the the mill when it's uh, running uh, with the, the mill on it actually made the sign over here. So right. uh, it actually does do uh, useful stuff, not just frosting. All right. Up here we have uh, some more stuff. Um, this is our uh, soldering workshop kit, which is the uh, the saplet. Basically, it's uh, it's a clone of the um, of the TV Be Gone and the uh, Mini Pov kits from uh, Mitch Altman. It's basically a remote control that turns off all televisions, really? which is really, really useful when you're in a sports bar. <laughs> right? Uh, let's see. Over here, we have the um, latest version of our uh, door lock kit, which uh, actually controls our door locks at uh, the space. All right. The way a hackerspace or our hackerspace works is that once you've paid your membership dues of 150 crowns a month, you get a key so you can get in at any time of day and start building your stuff and right. that's uh, that's our um, main goal is to make it possible for people to actually build stuff right really really how cool. many hackers are our members oh we are over 210 now uh, awesome. unfortunately only only about a, a 50 uh, 50 something are actually paying members right but uh, it, it, it actually means that we can pay our uh, all our expenses through membership dues, which nice. means we're so you're running break even. Yeah, we're we're completely independent, so we don't have to you know show a profit. We don't have to act like we teach someone something. Right. We don't have to develop products. We don't have to create uh, uh, companies, which is incredibly right. uh, just, nice. You just can, hacking. Yeah, you can just <laughs> do a, a technology for fun. Nice. And and it's, can you show some more stuff? Oh yes, yeah, sure. Right over here. Ooh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> right over here we have old Twitchy, which is uh, fortunately turned off because it's 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 quite dangerous. It's, yeah, it, it's uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, robotics world's answer to zombies. It's it's very uh, right. very unreliable and uh, zombie-like. But you can control it using the Kinect, which is of course always fun. All right, awesome. Over here behind you, we have. Um, the doorbell, it actually runs Linux, this doorbell, and uh, that of course means that it's actually twice as good as a normal doorbell because it do uh, does both thing and dong. Yes. Awesome. Wow, it works. Yes. <laughs> and uh, over here behind you, we have uh, some typical of examples of what people do when they get bored around All hardware. Right. Let's check it out. Yes. Over here in the middle. We have the uh, pointless switch machine. So, um, <laughs> and uh, pointless switch. Machine. Yes, it's it's a machine and it has a switch. What's the which, point? Uh, it doesn't have one. Um, <laughs> it's it's actually quite pointless. Um, but this was built using just the parts available at our space. So uh, it's an example of what we what we can do just uh, from a standing still with. Uh, Setting start, I guess. All right. so With, this uh, comes straight out of the, of the Office Space movie. This is the executive decision maker. Right. So uh, exec executives, of course, need some help to do decisions because <laughs> right. they, they usually do much worse on their own. So this is just a random generator. <laughs> or if you're into the, that sort of stuff, there's an antenna here that probes your aura and stuff. And that's that right there. Uh, yeah.
Yeah. To explain a little bit about this, what is this? Right. This is an interesting hack, actually. Uh, it's it, there's not much uh, to show in it except that uh, we have a uh, Garmin TMC receiver right here, which outputs an undocumented data stream, which uh, some of our members have uh, actually picked apart and uh, decoded uh, in this uh, um, Arduino right here. Uh, the Arduino then talks USB over to the uh, router, which distributes the uh, TMC signal uh, via Wi-Fi and Ethernet to this uh, hack box right here with the nice display. Awesome. What's this? Right, this is uh, a start of um, a display project uh, for uh, basically getting um, a vector graphics uh, output board up and running for an old game machine. In the olden, olden days, before you started using TVs for uh, game machines, they used something called a vector display, which basically says, well, we are going to draw a line from here to here, and that's the line. It, it has a very nice, uh, crisp resolution, but it's also very um, very intensive if, if you want to paint the entire screen. All right. but. Um, well, thanks for showing me around. Do you have a message for all the hackers in the world? Yeah, start a hackerspace if you don't have one or join one. So go to hackerspaces.org or hackerspaces.dk and um, do you, you know, just uh, hack something because it's fun. Hack something. There you yes. go. Thanks a lot.